they pound on the drum to match the heartbeats for the more than 580 missing and murdered Aboriginal women in Canada. The focus of this year's Aboriginal Drumathon, held by Mount Boucherie students for the last seven years. We want all kids to know about this and we want all kids when they think about doing Aboriginal content in the classroom that it's not just out of the textbook, it's real, it's part of the community. Mercedes is a part of that community. Her sister went missing from Edmonton in 2013 and hasn't been heard from since. Now, Mercedes has taken to speaking out on this issue that hits so close to home. They think Aboriginal women live high-risk lives and, like, they just think that we just want to run away and since, like, because of our past. Students from the Aboriginal Leadership Program will spend the day sharing their culture with children from West Kelowna schools. We're trying to teach them culture. So we've got a smudging station, we've got the regalia for the girls to try on and learn some fancy dancing. We've got um, some bannock here, we've got a concession, we've got games with our kids. Just trying to build a connection so that they want to come to high school. The drumming started early this morning and will continue for 24 hours. The public is welcome to attend here at the West Bank First Nation until 10 p.m. tonight, at which time it will be a closed event just for the students. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski in West Kelowna.